I was thinking about having a conversation with someone and like if they asked me why I've gone the way I've gone, I might stay away from religion, away from church, away from God, but I look at look at it as going towards something, I'm going towards my God. They might ask me something and we might ask each other questions and I, one of the questions I might ask them is, do you believe you know your God? Do you believe you know the innermost part of his heart? or even have some insight at all into it. And if they say, well, whatever they say, if they say yes or they say no, and then they ask me back the same question, and I say yes. And they say, well, how, how do you believe you know this? How do you believe you know the heart of your God? And it has to do with the, the fact that, that this problem we all share, and that is that we all have an eternal problem. We all have sin that is, has eternal consequences and there's no one that can help us out with this. There's not one person in this world other than God himself. And God himself dealt with that. He took it away even before I even turned towards him, acknowledged him, did anything but curse him. Because that's what the scripture says, while we're yet sinners. That's when Christ died for us. My God showed me his heart. He showed me how much he loved me. And that with no guarantee in return of what I, how I would react, he died for me. He died for everyone. He died for everyone. The ones who will turn their back on him and the ones who will embrace him. And we all turn our back on him for some period of time. But that's how I know his heart. He took away the thing that would separate me from him forever before I even thought of turning towards him. And that is revealing his heart, how much he loves us, how much he loves me.